Hello everyone, welcome to another build guide. Today I'm bringing you the Glacier Zork. This build has two variants and one of them is particularly strong for this patch. Let's take a look at it in game. So here we are in game and as I mentioned there is two ways to play this build. One where you stack uh, mind over matter like damage uh, dealt to mana before health like in PoE and you equip Fracture Crown for even more damage dealt to mana before health and that way you don't have any ward but you know when you take damage all of it goes into your uh, you know your your damage the damage you take gets split into your huge mana pool and your actual health so you get extremely tanky um, because it's just a super OP defensive mechanic the other way to play this build is actually quite the opposite you don't take Fracture Crown and you spec onto this like beautiful, beautiful new passives here. Lost Knowledge. Lost Knowledge gives you one ward per one ma of your total mana when you use a, a 40 a mana skill. So if you have 20 mana, you get 20 ward when you cast the ability. If you have 954 mana, you can take a look at my ward. Well, you see where this is going, huh? Let's get let's get on board, boys. On top of that, we're reinforcing this playstyle with a with a with a um, fracture crown. Uh, sorry, with a twisted heart of Ukero, so we get the leech, so we can even consume more uh, more HP for more ward. And I mean, you can see the ward that I'm getting at the moment is just uh, well, it's kind of ridiculous, right? This build is extremely overpowered at the moment. And you don't have to focus, you don't have to you don't have to worry about anything pretty much. <laughs> the build is just a lot of fun. I mean who doesn't like uh, you know infinite ward? Again at the moment I only have 160 ward retention because my character was not optimized for this mechanic because I was using fracture ground. But I mean you can imagine how this is gonna look if you actually optimize it, you know. I've been doing some tests with uh with a friend and stuff, and uh, you should you should be able to get you know anywhere from 15k to uh, 30k worth easily. And again, you can see I'm already getting uh, 10k worth easy. So imagine if you actually had good word, good worth retention, you know, like 500 worth retention or whatever, like building full intelligence and so on. Uh, yeah. Again, extremely fun build to play, extremely powerful, and again, follow the tips uh, in the guide that mentions the, uh, the word bar variant, but we'll go over it now on the actual guide. Alright, so again, like I said, very very strong build, you'll see here that there is the word version, I suspect this is gonna get nerfed, but I'm gonna go over it anyway. The main difference is like we don't grab Fracture Crown, and on the skills, the skills are just the same, you go for damage on... On Glacier, you use Ice Barrage for the multiplier and the, the extra clear and the shield that protects you from projectiles. Teleport for your buffs. You could go Comet Rush instead of uh, the stun immunity for mapping a bit faster for the cooldown reduction. Flame Ward for all the defenses, of course. And uh, your classic uh, focus um, just to get as much mana as possible when you go into the negatives. This is also, if you go for uh, the damage taken, it goes to mana. This is also very, very strong as, you know, if you take a lot of damage and you go into the negatives, you can quickly focus and get like a burst of like 600 mana or whatever, if you have 1k mana. Uh, again, if you want any alternatives, as always, they're written down there. And you can see here, like if you want to play the ward variant, you want to go for the fracture, you don't, you don't use the fracture crown and use spec for uh, lost knowledge instead of using these last points into, you know, extra intelligence or whatever. You go, you go straight into the, into lost knowledge. Obviously, you would grab, the, grab this as early as possible, though. So that is the main difference. There is another difference. Again, the gameplay is just the same. You kind of like just saw it, but you dash around. You use their flame ward for defenses. You focus when you need mana, and you just spam glacier uh, to make sure you line up the third explosion for maximum damage. If you want more tips, here they are. I guarantee you're reading the guide because it's very deep, and it basically includes everything you might ever need. So yeah, but when it comes to gearing, uh, as always, the gearing section includes the, the milestones that you should aim for, 
uh, obviously, uh, you know, you start with the double tier fives, uh, double tier ones, just as to get your gear started. Then you go into the double tier fives, which is what you should aim for as a beginner. And then eventually, you know, you start getting into the realms of exalted and ceiling and all the good stuff. Here in the uh, endgame gear, we basically have these two sections. We have the Fracture Crown version, where you go, uh, you have to do the recipe with the Rune of Ascendance in order to get it. Or here you have the Word variant, that I just say it's OP for 0 0.9, uh, where you ignore uh, Fracture Crown completely, and you just go for Twisted Heart of Ukeros instead. So again, you know, you're getting, you're getting Word from the passive, you're getting Word from the Relic, you're leeching up the life, so you consume even more, you're making mana with Glacier, and overall, you know, like, the build just goes... Crazy, 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 crazy. For those who don't know, the reason why this is so strong on this build is because Bla Glacier has these notes here that give you percentage of your maximum mana gained on crit and on kill. So you get 100% crit. Each Glacier has three explosions, you know. You have a thousand mana. <laughs> you crit three times on a single enemy and you see where this is going. You are getting a lot of mana back. You know, if you crit 10 enemies, you know, and you crit them Three times enemy, 30 crits in one cast, you're getting, <laughs> uh, you, you can get like, you know, 300, 600 mana on a single cast back, uh, depending on how many enemies you hit and how many crits you get and how many enemies you kill. So yeah, pretty fucking crazy, right? Let's be honest. Uh, again, if you want to learn anything about the build, this is how the damage works. Pretty straightforward build, you know, you get crit, you get shred, you get armor shred, you get intelligence, you get spell damage, and you go ham with adaptive spell damage on, on with Glacier. Uh, really powerful and then the defense is a bit more complex but you have uh, the two versions here uh, damage uh, to dealt to mana which is the fracture crown and then you have the word barian which ignores fracture crown and goes for a twisted heart of ukeros instead and lost knowledge again extremely extremely powerful build extremely fun uh, it's a bit uh, wonky until you get your mana pool set up again if you want to get good mana uh, make sure that you just take a look at the planners and you see where we're getting mana from. You get mana from the implicit of the crystal wand, you can get mana on your catalyst, you get mana of your relic, especially early on. You craft mana on your amulet, you get mana on the bases, you get mana on your gloves. Uh, and, very importantly, you try to get idols with mana. It doesn't matter if you don't have double prefix and suffix. A prefix, a suffix, both of them work and, you know, the increased armor. Even even better, right? Because you're gonna be eventually you're gonna go for a or a, a throne of ambition, which gives you more cold damage and more more armor. So the build gets extremely extremely tanky. Again, as always, uh, like in all the max roll guides, uh, you're gonna find a loot filter that is very 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 easy to access. You basically right click, save link as, you know, you save your XML file, you drag it into your games filter folder, and that's it. You're ready to play with us. And again, I really, really hope you enjoy this build. It's extremely fun and uh, it's really powerful also if you play in a group just because, you know, you can just basically be the tank of the group, surprisingly, with a mage. Uh, you could spec some of your abilities to apply to your allies, like uh, Focus, for example, or even Flame Ward. And uh, again, it's a, it's a very, very strong class. Perfect for standalone, but also perfect to group play as it, uh, you know, cold damage at the moment is pretty strong uh, because Throne of Ambition... And there's a lot of actually cold meta builds like cold.werebear, like uh, cold frostbite uh, swarm blade, etc. Uh, etc. Et Bow mage, you know. So again, feel make make sure you you make a cold team come with your friends and you bring your mage to battle. I'll see you on the next one, and I hope you have fun. See ya.